Today, President Biden will appear with Vice President Kamala Harris for their first joint event since she replaced him as a Democratic candidate for president. They are promoting a new effort to lower prescription drug prices. Nancy Cordes is at the White House with more. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. This is something of a sea change. The White House is calling it a historic moment. It comes after the administration already capped the price of insulin at $35 per month for those on Medicare. Now, in its latest move, the administration says it has reached agreements with drug manufacturers on prices for the first 10 drugs selected as part of the Medicare negotiation program, including costly drugs that treat cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and blood clots. And here you can see a partial list of those drugs, including some familiar names like Eliquis and Xarelto. According to the White House, the new prices could save taxpayers $100 billion over 10 years, which should amount to around $6 billion in the first year, while Medicare enrollees themselves should save $1.5 billion in out-of-pocket costs for their prescription drugs. Now, though these lower prices are not going to take effect until 2026, this is the first time the government has been able to directly negotiate drug prices with manufacturers covered by Medicare. It is all part of the Inflation Reduction Act, which you may recall Vice President Harris cast the tie-breaking vote for in the Senate, something you can be sure she is going to remind voters of out on the campaign trail, Gail. All right, Nancy, thank you very much.